Na, guten Abend. Uh, hello, in this video we're going to be uh, sending some emails with Java and Spring Boot. Uh, now, if you want to get started on this, um, you can go to the link in the description and download the start files, uh, which is literally will just be Spring Initializer with uh, Java Mail Sender and Lombok. You don't need Lombok, but Lombok's cool. Um, if you didn't want to download those files, because say you wanted to be on a newer version of Spring Boot because you're in the future, and there's a newer version of Spring Boot, um, then obviously you can just come to Spring Initializer or add um, these two dependencies, which we'll have a look at in the project in a second, or just, just the mail sender dependency. God, I'm rambling. But obviously the objective of this is to send an email, so I've got a temporary email set up, um, and we're gonna send an email. So, uh, let's uh, start. So, first thing to do, let's have a goosey gander at the POM. Um, this is the POM we've got set up. Again, it's literally just from Spring Initializer. The things you should care about here are this one, Spring Boot Starter Mail. That's how we're gonna send emails, in case you didn't guess. Uh, and then this one is, is Lombok. This is just, uh, you'll see what this does when we get around to doing some stuff. Um, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is we'll define some application properties. Uh, do, do, do. Right, so there are a few that we need. We need Spring Mail Host. Now, I already have these configured when the application is going to run for the run configuration, but I'm just going to show you that you need these. I'm not going to fill these actually out. So, Spring Mail Host, we need Spring Mail Username. We need Spring Mail Password. We need Spring Mail Port. And we need, um, well, you, you may not need this one, but this is one where this is the sort of problem that you, you crop up with um, and you won't know what's going on. Uh, so you need Spring Root Properties, Mail, STP, um, whatever it's called, that one. Ugh, that one. SSL enable true. Now, you only need that if your email provider um, is using SSL. If you're not, then you don't need that. Okay, so you should know what all those variables are for you. Um, one thing to note is Gmail's a bit funny. If you're doing, if you're using a Gmail account to do this, it doesn't like you doing it. So you might need to use a different email um, as your host. But you, you know all your settings to log into your email, no doubt. So we're not gonna do anything else here. That's all we need. Uh, oh, the other thing we need as well, um, while, while I'm here anyway, is I'll add a property called sender email and that will just be, um, an email that we're going to use for um, the properties, uh, and that that, does, that can be dynamic. We don't even need to have this as a property. I'm just going to set it up as a property. So first thing, let's go through and do some. Shall we do with the email stuff first, or shall we do? Let's do the properties first because it's boring stuff, and we'll get it out of the way. Uh, package, call it config. Uh, in this package, we are going to have one file. That one file is going to be called email properties. Uh, and then for this, we're going to use some Lombok gubbins. Um, so what do I actually want here? Well, I want uh, a string, private final string, just call it sender. This is going to be the email address that we're sending messages from. Again, we don't actually need this to be properties, but we might as well here. Uh, we need equals and hash code. We need the string. Again, this, is, this stuff is just Lombok. This is just saving lots and lots of time of me having to actually type code. Uh, required R's constructor. I like to have builder and then builder uh, to build a tree, but we probably won't need it for this demo. And then we need a getter, obviously, and we need, the other things we need are constructor binding. This is so that we can actually get this property correctly. And we need configuration properties. Um, and we need to tell it where to look. So this will be, anything that's got a prefix of email. So if you haven't seen this, this sort of thing before, what's happening here is I'm basically telling um, Spring Boot that I want to have this object created from the configuration properties that I've got defined. So in this case, this sender email, um, this will get populated, this, this will get turned into this object over here so I can use it as an object and I don't have to do this nonsense where you do like value, bloody, bloody, blah. 
Um, and that also means that if I wanted to group things together, I could also have like, you know, um, I don't know, well, what else would have like, uh, subject. We wouldn't have subject as a, a property, but you could do this and then just swap it out and put subject there um, if you wanted to. So now you've got like an object that's got a load of grouped properties. Um, just a mildly interesting thing that you might be that might find useful. Uh, right, let's create a service package. Create a service package now. We'll create uh, what the hell did I just do? Uh, we'll create a new Java class. We'll make it an interface. We'll call it I don't know. Um, uh, message publisher or something like that. Uh, and this is going to do return, let's just make it return void um, and it will send or publish and let's just make it do a, do a string so we don't need a final because we're an interface so we'll, do, we'll make it publish a message that's a string that's all this interface is going to do uh, and then if we create a email message publisher uh, annotate it with service so the Spring Boot picks it up nicely. Uh, another thing we need to do really quickly before I forget and look like a dick later on is we need to do enable configuration properties in the main application file and I need to give it um, email properties so it knows that, I, that, that that is a thing, that those properties are actually a thing that it's going to be able to pick them up. Otherwise I will look like a dick when we run this and it just doesn't work. I mean, that's going to happen anyway, if anyone's seen my videos before. Uh, right, back to the service, email message publisher. Uh, I also want to have required args constructor. And I'm going to do private final uh, email properties, email properties. Uh, and then this wants to obviously implement uh, message publisher. There we go. I'm actually going to make this not a service. It's not a service. Um, we'll make it publisher. Uh, and then this all we've just changed the component. Spring Boot should know to pick this up. Right. Um, so what we're doing here is we are going to be creating. Um, we need to send the email. So the way we send the email is that we need to also auto wire in this Java mail sender. Now, this Java mail sender comes from that um, dependency we have, which is Spring Boot Starter Mail, this one here. Um, so we don't actually need to do anything, provided we've got those application properties uh, that we've configured. Those ones, Spring Boot's gonna just create the bean for us that we can auto wire in this Java, men, uh, Java mail sender. And so this is actually gonna be very, very simple. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say um, final simple mail message and we'll call it mail new simple mail message. Oh, it's gonna moan at me because it wants me to define that as var, no doubt. Um, because I'm using Java 11. Right, so this isn't you, so it's moaning. Now, this um, object has a constructor that takes a message, or you have to just use setters. Okay, that's fine, we'll, we'll use setters. Um, so, what do we want to have the setters to? So we want to do uh, set from, in this case it's going to be email properties, get sender, um, set text, and we'll just you know, send the message, whatever we've sent, um, and then set subject. There's a load of stuff you can set, obviously, it's your standard stuff for your email, so you can see all what we've got here. So, uh, okay, and then we want to have, oh, there is one thing that we definitely need. Um, have you spotted what it is yet? It's uh, two, so we need an email to send. Obviously, this is this one I've got here. Cheeky copy and paste, bang. It's a fun email. Um, once we've got that, all we need to do is go Java Mail Sender, 
send um, and there are different types of messages so if you want to send uh, more complex messages like uh, you know multimedia messages you could totally do that you just swap out this here um, obviously if you were doing this for real as well you would probably have a factory that, that creates your email objects and passes them to this publisher as opposed to sending just the message uh, this is really for quickness um, that we're doing this but what I'm going to do pass mail um, and this doesn't return anything so the interface of this is void so nothing's going to happen now it does throw exceptions like the mail delivery exception I think it is or mail exception so if you wanted to catch them and, and handle that here you could totally do that um, we don't need to return anything this is void so um, this should hopefully work now if we were to spin this up obviously it's not going to work because nothing has wired this up to publish so uh, the way I think we'll do that is we'll just create an initializing bean, which is the easiest way of doing this. So we'll say something like email initializing bean implement initializing bean. If you haven't used initializing beans before, they're quite good because these are these are things that we can use as soon as the the um, Spring context loads. So after the properties are set, um, we can. This gets triggered. So if you've got initializing beans, the, these methods get triggered. So um, what we can do here is we can set this as configuration so it knows to pick it up. Uh, give it a required R constructor. Uh, give it our um, cheeky little uh, message publisher. So final uh, message publisher. There we go, let's put the share. And then we can just print out uh, sending an email, and then we'll do message publisher, publish, uh, hello, I'm a Nigerian prince. Classic email. Um, so what will happen now is if we spin this up, I'm going to look like a dick because it's not going to work because I've missed something, I guarantee you that. Um, but let's try and run this. Oh, we've pressed Control r it's going to start running. Uh, it's doing some stuff. We can see the console spun up, Spring Boot spun up nicely, process figured with... Something's gone wrong. Something has definitely gone wrong there. Why has that not worked? It's... Uh, process finishes exit code. Demo application, da, 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 da. no active process. Da, 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 da. Okay, that looks. Mm, it doesn't look right. Let's just check it hasn't sent an email. It definitely hasn't because we'd have seen we'd have seen this here. So, why hasn't this worked? Is the question. Mm, that's interesting. Why hasn't that worked? Okay, process for the actual code. Well, there's no, there's no, there's no debug. See, I, I knew this would happen. That I'd run, I'd run it, and it just wouldn't work. Okay, so um, that's really odd. Why is it moaning about that? Why is it not? Well, it's not even moaning. That's the problem. Hmm, this is interesting. Ball something up. What if I balls up? Ah, oh, no, it's got the profile email, which is what we want. Yes, this is what we want. Uh, we don't need component scan because th that's in Spring Boot application anyway. That's in that annotation. Um, well, that is bloody interesting. Why is that not working? Oh, shit. Ha <laughs> ha! Moron, it's in there. What I've done is I have put everything in the wrong package so Spring Boot doesn't know that anything exists. There we are. So when I was creating it, I was creating it in the Java package, not creating it in the uh, actual main package, which is where the uh, the application is. So when it does component scan, it would be like, ah, oh, I have no idea, I, there's nothing I'm finding, which is why it just didn't do anything. It just ran this and then just did nothing. I think. I may be wrong. Ha ha! Sherrod, you are. Right. So we can see it says, uh, sending email. Uh, it's done that, blah de blah, and it's finished because it's, it's, this this application is doing nothing else. There's nothing long lived here. So we have a goosey gander here. Oh my god, look at that. Pip pip pow. Hello, I'm a Nigerian prince. Right, I think that is a great success. We've got it to work. It worked 
nearly first time. Um, very, very simple to do, as you can see. Um, very nice. Uh, excellent. Uh, if you have any questions, stick them in the comments. I'll try and respond. I am horrendous at responding to most comments at the moment, but I will try. Um, buongiorno, arrivederci, guten tag, konnichiwa, tata.